Hello, everybody. It is a pleasure being with you guys here today. Big hug from Quito, Ecuador. We're going to work today some concepts that are going to help us understanding the American Campo in some aspects. And we are going to base them in this beautiful book the Grandmaster Tatum. From our great master Larry Tatum. Okay, y vamos a ver un concepto. We're going to see a concept. Sure. What? Okay, so we are going to see chapter 10, page 43. A step into the logic of Kempo is a step into understanding the logic of life. So a step into the logic of Kempo is a step into understanding the logic of life. Entonces, so eh, toda la clase que the whole class that we're going to share today, it's going to be based concept. in this concept. Okay. All right? Do you agree, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. Good. Yes, I don't. No, I'm just kidding. So we are going to warm up a little bit, like quickly, so we are ready to get into the action. Horse stance, everybody, please. Vertical punch. Vertical punch. Uppercut. Uppercut. Back knuckle. And we repeat it again. Okay, again. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Rock, got it? Got it, guys. Okay. Ready? Ten times. Ready? Ten times. Let's do it go. ten times. Everybody go. Three up. All right? Ten times. Can you repeat again? Vertical punch, uppercut, rear knuckle. So, okay. all right. All right, good. Very well. Again. Okay. And two. Two. One more time, please, guys. There you go. Vertical punch. Vertical punch. Uppercut. uppercut, uppercut back, knuckle. back knuckle punch. Full speed. A full speed now. Right. All right. Ah, very good. Hey. Very nice. Next. Eight figure. The eight figure, guys. One time with a hand and then the other hand. Okay, the eight figure. Analyzing what we are doing. There you go. The eight figure. Okay, entonces les voy a uh, decir de lo que va a tratar y Juan Ignacio me va a ayudar traduciendo. So now I'm going to tell you what we were going to talk about and I'll be your translator, guys. Y descomponiendo la primera frase del libro del maestro Larry. We are going to deconstruct the first phrase of Larry Tatum book. El sistema Kempo se basa en el uso óptimo del movimiento. So Kempo system is used in the optimal or uh, specific uh, um, use of movement, right? La administración eficiente de los espacios. How to take advantage of the space or, or the, the area. Ángulos, energías, Angles, direcciones. Energy, directions. Y dimensiones. And dimensions. Okay. Is that right? ¿Está claro? Otra vez. I'll repeat it. Uh, Cheers, sir. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, it's, I got it right here, right? Okay, so the Kempo system is based in the specific and optimal use of movement, the administration of uh, efficient administration or use of spaces, angles, energy, directions, and dimensions, uh, including, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. right? Incluyendo la comprensión. Including understanding. Conciencia de los métodos. And conscious of methods and patterns. And use and the uh, specific use of natural forces of physical universe, gravity and torque. Okay. Right? Se entiende? Is that understandable? Is that understood? 
Is that, is that okay? Okay. Right. Pueden dar like si me entienden? If you understood what I said, please like. <laughs> oh, All okay. right, thank you. Okay, entonces vamos a tomar la técnica five sword para ir demostrando. So we're going to use idea. five sword techniques to show the idea. Uh -huh. voy a presentar I'm going to show you. Professor Diego Ruiz. This is uh, my friend Diego Ruiz, another instructor from our dojo. Con el cual vamos a estar mostrando estos conceptos. Who's going to be helping us this concept? Okay. All right. Bien, so the five sword. Vamos a hacer primero la versión de pase ideal. Okay, so we are going to um, start with like the perfect ideal um, um, face or ideal movement. So we block, we hit, then we hit back, we finish the movement, as you know. So this is like the ideal attack or ideal moment. Do, do you all guys have it this way? Good. All right. Okay, vamos a ir now we're going to make some variations. ¿Cómo sería la parte How would it be in the part del movimiento óptimo y eficiente? of the optimal and efficient movement? So once he attacks, we lower the right hand of the opponent and, and we manage the gravity in, in you know, uh, sticking the, our knees down. Okay, the knee. Can you see the knee? When he's going to activate and shut the other punch, we hit with the elbow in the chest. And from here, we hit the face. And he, if he's coming back with the other hand, we hit back with our hand. And finally, the uppercut. And if he plays close to us, we cross both of the attacks. Okay. So this is the idea. So we're talking about an optimal situation. We we lower, we lower, okay, our, our stance. And if he's going back, we hit with the elbow, counting the chest. All right. Okay, the anchor of the of the elbow. From here we shoot our same hand. Keep, and at the moment he's going to hit us with the left hand so we hit as a reverse all right hit as a reverse all right we reverse our hand this way creating a dark space right here that allows me to enter with the following movement I believe the dog is learning. Okay, I think we're gonna do Okay. <laughs> okay. Megan Lara can mute Lori. <laughs> Okay, so let's keep going. So here comes the punch. We lower the person. We hit with the elbow. Then we give a reverse punch. Okay, he he lo he uh, offers his hand to you know protect his face. We can pull and grab and create another uh, pulling right here with our hands and manipulate the hand. So when he comes with the following attack. We stop him with his uh, fingers of my opponent, opponent, and we cancel the width, and also breaking his fingers. Right. In the moment, I I use my my hand, my right hand, like lowering my mask, and break the face in that moment. So he is exposed, and I can use my uppercut. And, and I use the external area of my thumb, pressing with my hand, like making a fist. And at the same time, I, I hit with my palm in the face as an inverted moment, keeping him away from me with my left hand and checking also his nose and eyes. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's that like the variation. Is that understood so far? Do you understand, guys, so far? 
Good. All right. Entonces, so then vamos a practicar we are going to practice adding this movement about a movement, well, about a minute. Okay. Okay, now they are in a real uh, um, fight. So he, uh, the opponent checks me, all right? And in the moment he checks, okay, I react, right? So we're going to work moving our body so it's a little bit more active. So re remember that anything that is alive moves, so you have to move a little bit more. Because we're working uh, against a, a person and attack that wants to rip your head off or tear your head off. So you have to keep up with the action of my opponent. Because depending on his action, it's going to be my reaction. Right? Right? So when he is, I, I perform my movement, next move, I use my elbow, as I told you, and, and, and close the distance, you know, keep the very short distance, like touching him. And if he grabs my hand, I apply the anchor principle, uh, in, in, inserting, okay, my, my, I, I, I engage my gra gravity and my back mass, so I hit him with my elbow, then I go back to, with my hand, he protects himself, so I grab his hand, okay, to make a little bit more width, and break his fingers in, until there, okay? And we will we'll stop right there. One more time. The, uh, the attacker, he's going to come with me. We hit, use our elbow, reverse, right? He covers his hand, we grab his finger, all right? And break his finger, all right? Shall we try that, you guys, in your places? Okay, go for it. Okay, go for it. You guys over there, if you have a partner or if you want to do the movement on your own. Do you have any question about the movement? Any question about the movement? We are adding new, uh, like new movement to the same techniques according to the action of the attacker, attacker right? Any questions so far? Okay. I see no questions. Okay, so let's keep going. Good. Great. Okay, we're gonna see a little different um, attack. Working with uh, space, room, energy of the opponent. So he's going to hit us. Now we are not, we are going to cut right there. We are not going, we are going to enter. We are not cutting and we anticipate the movement. So we unplug the arm, we disconnect the arm. Let's do it in the different position. We hit, all right, it's not exactly the same. We hit it in the shoulder and we keep with the anchor of my elbow. So I open his area to make him expose himself and I lower him as he's grabbing me. So he's trying to hug me or, or, or to grab me and I keep my elbow and I keep my, my technique. And then I lower him and I end the technique. So I re replace, not the hand sword, but I use my elbow. It's a little variant. And then I can do a reverse elbow, upper hit, and finish with my uh, ankle in his groin. Because since he's an active person, I really need to um, overload, over, yeah, overload his senses 
Hitting in the most sensitive areas of the body. In this case, in this example, I hit the shoulder, so I disconnect, unplug his arm, or at least reduce his um, energy with the arm. Since we have a vital area or, or vital point of the body that is going to overcharge his nervous system. So once I unplug his um, nervous systems for at least one or two seconds, I have the chance to get into and keep doing my technique because he's thinking about the pain or, or, or anything else. Because remember that we are working now how to handle, how to manage an effective uh, use of space and the angles. So when he comes, I hit immediately, hit the shoulder, cause him pain. And when I know that he's going to react, I use my anchor, my elbow as an anchor. He grabs, okay, as a reaction, a natural reaction. And in this moment, I can start my manipulation, manipulating area or movement or, 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 or stage. That would be as a result of the natural action that I'm perceiving and getting. Because he's got some organic reactions that if I study them and check them in a proper way, this natural reaction, uh, I'm, I'm going to use this natural reaction in my favor. So when he comes, I hit it. As I know, he's going to come back again. I hit it, then he grabs me, I can, I can enter to manipulate his fingers, his hand, to break his fingers in this angle, as we're talking, using my chest, okay, to break his, and, and, and also use my, my uh, elbow, my other arm, to keep him checked, and checking this area, this zone, all right, so I press his fingers and his hand against my chest, my body, so I break them easier. Now I make a lot of pressure with my elbow and my body and my gravity, and then I hit his, his face and he's going to expose because he naturally is going to cover his face, so he's going to expose his, his sacra area. Now let's imagine that his reaction is quite a little bit different. When he comes, I start with my rope, but he comes and he grabs me completely. What could I do here if he grabs me? Shall I change my technique? What do you think, guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for your answer. Come on. What could I do? Or should I do for another technique or can I keep doing the same? I would say keep doing the same, establish a better stance and maybe elbow, elbow to the back of the spine, etc. Yeah. To try to break the hold. Justamente el codo en la parte de atrás de la espalda. Exactly. This is one of the answers. What I do, what I do is I use my uh, knee. Okay, can you see lower? I use my knee, right, in this case, at the same time with my elbow in the back of his, uh, of his back. So I, I hit with both my knee and my elbow. And then I just keep doing, keep performing that technique. Right, is that clear, guys? What I'm trying to um, explain here is that when you really know one technique, you have to analyze that technique in a different point of views. 
algunos puntos de vista bastantes básicos. So we have some very basic different points. ¿Cuáles creen ustedes que sean esos puntos de vista? Which one do you think they are? It's a question. What points of view are them? Para darles una ayuda, to give you a little hint, vamos a ver algunos conceptos let, de puntos de vista. let's see some concept of the point of view. So a point of view, okay, it's one point from which uh, you can perceive one point uh, in your conscious that you can perceive anything. The other one is a place from which one person is looking at, all right? One place from which one person is looking at. Want me to see the All right, so let's analyze this both, this, this two first. So it's a point of conscience from which you can perceive. Let's analyze this, let's translate this into real life. So when we are here in five swords, I can perceive from this point of view, right? Right? But I have another point of view, which is the diagonal and his uh, legs. So I have four basic point of views, two arms and, and two legs. Because I perceive, I'm perceiving what I see, what I watch here is what I really perceive, right? And according to my perception, I'm going to give my answer. Okay. Is that clear? Remember? Okay, so remember that Master Larry Tatum always tells us that one step in the compression of a technique is one step in the compression of life. Exactly. Right. So this is one of a, the most important um, learning. So it says a step into the logic of campus is a step into understanding the logic of life, which is, you know, summarizes what we are talking right now. So we are analyzing this concept in different point of views. Because logic says that uh, has a lot to do with perceptions. Okay. And every, everything I perceive can use it, I can use it to protect myself or others or also protect my attacker so I don't have to hurt the attacker, uh, the attacker uh, that much. Right? So I'm going to show you another point of view from which you could watch, you can analyze the, the same situation or a different situation. So he wants to attack me with a low kick and he's like the famous MMA uh, fighters. All right. So when he comes with a lower kick, I, I use my right leg, all right, as, okay, to cover to protect it from, from the kick, and then, you know, one leg position. When he attacks, and I cut his action, and I hit from there that will allow me to shoot my other hand. So when I'm moving, okay, I have the chance to hit him. But I know that he's going to wreck, so I keep performing my technique. And he grabs, let's say that he grabs me. I use and, and manipulate his hand. Okay, to make some pain in the fingers, and then I keep performing my act, my, my technique. Is that clear? Is that understandable? Is, is that clear? Am I being clear, guys? Okay, vamos a hacer Master Scott says yes. Gary, yes. All right. 
de poner en práctica en un minuto todo lo que acaban de ver. So let's try to put all that together in a minute, all that you have seen so far. ¿Les parece bien? Is that okay with you guys? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. Do it uh, yourself. Un let's minuto. I'll, well, I'm going to give you one minute so you can perform what you just watched. Que esto es participativo. Remember that this is, you know, uh, I'm sharing knowledge, but you have to work on them so you memorize them. Lo que se mueve está vivo. Anything that moves is alive, guys. Whatever moves is alive. So, my so, so, so Roberto, ah, uh, so we need to start from... Uh, Five soul, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. I so five soul. Soul. <laughs> yeah, there are so many variants of five swords. But it keeps the same pattern. I like that you I like that you incorporate the grappling, somebody to a to grapple you because it happens so much on the street. I think a lot of times uh, Kepo is uh, uh, leave that out, and, and that's good that, I, I, that you're doing that because many times when you're in, in now, especially with the MMA, everybody wants to grab you, everybody wants to hang on to you. Very good, very good. Thank you very much. Actually, uh, Master Roberto is uh, using uh, things from real life, and uh, so that's why I'm using that. Very good, very good. Yeah, very good. 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 I would like to share with you a concept de supervivencia of surviving or survival que me gustaría que piensen con esto. that I would like you to give it a think. Mientras van moviéndose, van escuchando. Meanwhile, you're moving and performing uh, what I show you, you are listening. Okay. All right. Lo primero me gustaría saber o entender qué es... ¿Qué entiende por concepto? ¿Qué es un concepto para ustedes? Well, I want to know, what do you guys understand for a concept? What is for you a concept? Can you tell me? Any idea? Aplicado el tiempo. Sure. Yeah, what is, what is a concept, guys? If we, we're talking in, that it, in Kempo, we have a concept. So what is a concept in Kempo? Can you give me your idea, your opinion? Can I? Sure, go ahead. Maybe it's an, a kind of mind representation of an object, of a, an idea. Una representación de un objeto que tenemos. Sí, es una idea. Maybe. Right, it's a very good idea. Any other? A concept is just an idea. Concept is just uh, solo una idea. Correcto. Okay, it's a concept, it's an idea. Ahora, el punto importante del concepto es una idea. Now, the, the important part of a concept is that it is an idea. Pero es la idea directa, sin sonido, sin letras, sin nada. Es la idea clara y concepto. That it is a no sound, no... Um, no tiene eh, sonidos. No sound, no... No tiene letras. No uh, lyric, no letter idea. It's a pure idea, a very clear. Okay. So nosotros, we, en Kempo, we, when we usually think about Kempo, in the case of the five swords, in a five sword uh, case, ¿en qué what do we think? ¿Cuál es la idea que tú de five what is the idea you have about five swords? What is, the what is your concept? Okay, it's, it's like a question. What is your concept, guys? Of five swords. Anybody? Sorry, can you repeat the questions, sir? Yeah, what is your concept of five swords? We have said that. <laughs> that, okay, that, so, is like a, that is like a question. A, a question of what is your, your concept of uh, beauty? <laughs> it's uh, too, much that. too much objective, I, th I think. <laughs> For me, at least, it's, it's too much objective. <laughs> Subjective, sir. Sorry, subjective, yeah. at least for me. <laughs> at least for me. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us. Tell us what is your concept of five swords. Anybody, everybody's going to have one. So tell me, Mr. Uh, Master Nelson, for example, what is your concept of five swords? 
All I'm say I'm just saying is too too, uh, too much subjective, at least for me. It's like asking what is the concept of beauty. But if we turn if uh, if uh, if I think in terms of campo, for me it's just uh, a rearrangement, rearrangement, a good rearrangement of movement. A very well re rearrangement of movement. Okay, it's movement specific. Okay. Okay, fine. It's fine. Now, if, if you imagine five sword as a concept or as an idea of cutting. A tu oponente. Your uh, fighter, your opponent, cambiaría tu visión de la técnica. Would that change the vision of your technique? No, 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 it wouldn't. ¿Por qué? Why? Si yo miro esto, if I see this, normalmente, deberíamos hacer algo así. We, if, if you're watching technique, we are watching something like that. Cuando tú cortas algo así. When do you cut something this way? Never. Nunca, Almost never ever. So how would it work so it can cut? I have to slice or uh, yeah, slice the arm. So when you slice, you're performing the movement. This other one, if I hit, will be the same. I'm not cutting. Okay. Let's let's imagine with this. Um, I'm going to show you with uh, a real uh, weapon. Let's imagine I have a, a knife. I can press, pero no voy a cortar. but I'm not going to cut with a knife even if I wanted to. Okay, estamos hablando de five swords. Because we're talking about five swords. Cinco espadas, ¿verdad? Right? Five swords. Tengo que cortar. So I have to use them to cut. Pues corto uno, corto. So I cut the first one, uno, then the second one. As a, a cutting movement. But when I cut here in the trot, I'm focusing that my, my arm goes to the other, one, other arm to block. Okay, in, 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 in the vein, in the neck, exactly in the, in the neck. Okay, and uh, uh, hitting or pitching the eye as if I had a knife in my hand. Como que voy a estocar, voy a As, like, like the bulls fighting, right? When I, I'm going to uh, stab on it, no voy a stick my knife. So I'm not going to hit. Voy a I'm going to uh, use my, my, my knife it's a, if, as if I had a knife in my hand. So I have to think that my heat is going to penetrate as a knife, even though I'm using my, my fist. Okay. All right? So I cut, I cut the other one, I cut the second time. I hit, pinch, and then I imagine that I have a knife. My hand is a knife, so I use it as a knife. And then, I cut again. I cut in two different directions. And finally, right, this is the idea to cut. Okay, understand? Is that understand? Is that understood? Yep. That would be having a concept of a technique. Uh, so, Roberto, sorry. Daily. Uh, so, you're saying, uh, Part of the concept of the technique is in the name of the technique, but because five swords is source, right? <laughs> Cutting. Right. Part of the concept is in the name of the technique, right? O sea, que parte del de concepto es el nombre de la técnica. Parte del concepto, sí. También es el patrón. And it's also the pattern. Yeah, part of the concept is the name, but also the pattern that we are following. La idea que te quiero compartir. The idea I want to share with you guys today is that we look for the concept de cada una de las of every technique, every single technique. Esto this is going to speed tu del the comprehension of Campbell's system. Okay. ¿Les hace sentido? Does it make some sense to you? Does it make sense to you? Makes sense for me at least and, and, and related with uh, the Master Scott Sutwell uh, about close range. 
I saw a, a, a little variation of Gansing Green on, on, on your five sword technique. The two a, little, a little variation of Gansing Green when you used it, when, you, when you did the elbow. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so in that case, I need to find the, the concept in that name, right? Dancing yes, wing. Encontrar el concepto de dancing wings en ese nombre. Part, part of the, or part of, part of, part of it, part of the concept. Sí, part of the concept. Yes. Because, because when you ask for, because when you ask for what is a concept for me, now you are uh, working with knife. Okay, I, I think I can summarize my idea of uh, what is the concept of five for. For me, it's the salt on the table. You know what is salt? La sal, la sal de la mesa. The salt on the table. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's a, any technique that I can think is five cells in there. So need to be on every, on each table of each of one. <laughs> it's like the salt or the sugar. La sal en la mesa. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Roberto. Thanks, Roberto. It's a very beautiful way to link it. The important here, guys, every time I share my camp of comprehension, it to make people can have their own concept, their own comprehension. Not mine. Because you can save your life with your own concepts. Now with somebody else's concepts. Okay. Right? El sistema Kempo, te da Kempo system provides you muchas ideas, a lot of ideas, herramientas, tools que te permite that, that allow you to understand life. Ahora, Now, ¿cómo how can I apply la five sword the five swords techniques un to la vida solve a problem in your real life that has nothing to do with fighting, with punches. ¿Cómo extra, eh, este concepto, How will you translate this concept in a uh, martial art or, or personal defense Y aplicarlo a la vida diaria. And apply it to your real life. Un poco más because if uh, being realistic, de nosotros, none of us sale a o pelea will go out to you know look for a quarrel or fight. ¿verdad? Right? None of us. So campos got to be applied to your real life. No solo la parte de los, uh, not only fighting with somebody in a dojo or outside, but also take it in an upper level to your life strategy. So I'll make the question again. How will you apply five swords into your everyday activities? <laughs> again, one, one more time. Too much subjective, but just to say something. You, you mentioned cutting, right? Five swords, yes. cutting. Okay, cutting something to it. I mean, it <laughs> for <laughs> for meal, some some dinner. <laughs> and I don't know, cutting, cutting, cutting meat. Para cortar carne. Exacto. Bien. Ahora imagínate que tienes un problema. Now imagine you have a problem in your life. This is, this is a problem, right? Man, I'm in the, I'm in the deep, deep Dios problem. And this is the answer a este problem. to this problem. Okay. Ahora, en la vida diaria, so in the real life, everyday life, tengo una, un problema I, I get an issue to solve. No sé, Situation. Tengo que, I don't know, let's say. Eh, He's your boss and, and he fire you. He fire you. Is your boss in here for you? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I argued with my wife, for example. For example, or, or I don't have that many, that much students in my, in my dojo. How could I apply five sword to get more students in my dojo, in my academy? That's a good I question. Don't, I don't think cutting students from the studio is a good idea. <laughs> 
Bueno, cortándolo de ti ante los demás. Bueno, entonces, por ejemplo, Five Sources presenta cinco soluciones para un problema. So, Five Sources give me five answers for the same problem, right? Si tú tienes un problema, lo so, escribes. If you have a problem, you write it down. Y le das cinco soluciones a ese you, problema. And give it five answers, five possible answers to the problem. Then you, que cada solución conecte con la siguiente. And try to make any single uh, answer to the, to the problem connect with the other, the following answer. ¿Se entiende? Is that understood? Am I yes. being clear? Yes. ¿Preguntas hasta ahí? Any questions so far? Con confianza, no mordemos. Yeah, uh, we don't buy, guys. We don't buy. And it, I didn't have more money to find a better translator, so this is what we got. Any other question so far? I think you're doing great at translating, by the way. Yeah, by the way, yeah. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Seguimos. Seguimos entonces. Vamos okay, let's keep a... moving forward. Uh -huh. How do we, How am I going to do five swords? Cambiando de herramientas. Changing the tools. Okay, and natural weapons. So the punch comes. I hit. With my, I, I kick, and and the guy naturally is going to grab my leg, right? Because the, his natural reaction of a, of the pain or of of the movement, right? Or maybe he knows the jigsaw, and this is what he was looking for. So when I'm here, I keep my principles. I settle. I settle down. I. So, to avoid he move me forward or backward, and I'm going to find a pressing point, a pressure point, point of pressure that is in the middle of the scapula, okay, close to the uh, spine, and I press, and obviously it's going to be in pain, and, and, and we're going to have the <laughs> natural reaction. So, um, of course, I'm pressing, you know, slowly to see a reaction. If I hit him in the real life, I'm going to use my mass using the first principle of the knee and my hand. And I open his space and, and, and he's going to open himself. And now he's going to be back to me, but I'm going to hit with my hand. But I keep checking him with my knee, his, his knee, his leg. My partner here, Diego, he's about 200 pounds. So if I only hit him, if I only hit him, the only thing I'm going to get is that he get like a little bit madder, like, you know, pissed off and he's going to take me to the ground. But when I hit in this point, it's going to be a, a, such a pressure that his organic reaction is to release. So I give him a double charge of with my knee one, my hand, my sword, my hand sword, and, and lower myself so the punch is extremely harder. I always keep checking my right knee with his body. So when he tries to go with me, I cancel with my knee also and my hand. That's why I keep my knee over there. So when he tries to grab me, uh, trying to uh, avoid following himself, I do a rear crossover so I keep my balance and increasing my power when I, when I hit the shoulder of my opponent. All right? I'm checking him with my knee always and I look for the target of this, this uh, the, the, the very first beginning of a technique I show you in the shoulder 
And I hit there. And I hit right there. And in this position, he's totally exposed. I replace my hands for my legs. All right, that's what I'm doing. I'm not using my leg. I, I'm not using my arms. I'm using my legs. In the okay. final hit, is that clear? Am I being clear how we can um, handle different point of views? Lo importante the, es que tú the, the very important here is that you guys mover tus puntos de vista. can change your point of views. Okay. Si right? no es capaz de mover tus puntos de vista, If you are not able to change your point of views, vas a estar atorado en el campo. you're going to be stuck in campo techniques. Because as I told you, we are based on perceptions. How we properly handle angles, energy, and spaces. That at the end of the day is the most important from my point of view of the study of uh, campus system training. Okay. Is that clear, guys? Any question about it? Does anybody has a question? No, that was that was very interesting, uh, and you pretty much just changed um, the plane of the attack once he was down lower, and and maneuvered around on that plane instead of the, the higher plane. Uh, uh, rear. Was very important. Mm -hmm. No comment. Okay. Thank you very and much. For say, you. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, just to let you know, five more minutes. We got five more minutes. Okay. Very good. Fine. Great. Very good. Yeah. Let's do some Q and A. If you have some some question, we are going to invest this in, in questions and answers. Entonces, me gustaría compartir con ustedes unos últimos datos. So, I'd love to share with you just uh, two more tips and data sobre about mis estudios en el American Kempo, my Kempo studies. Y uno de estos, desarrollé una fórmula. And I have developed a formula que nos permite mantener el Kempo trabajando. That allows us to keep Kempo working and, 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 and functioning. Would you like to know these three points? Yeah. Yeah or no? Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Bueno, primero, first, la comunicación es importante. Communication matters. Cuando tú emites un mensaje, when you uh, start a message, so when you send a message, recibir un mensaje de vuelta. you're hoping to get a message back, right? Since Kempo es un sistema de comunicación, it's a communication system, okay. right? ¿Por qué? Why? Él me está comunicando he is communicating something. <laughs> something, right? That he loves me, right? Puede Not exactly. Un desacuerdo. Maybe he is communicating an, an a disagreement. Okay. Puede estar comunicándome cualquier cosa. He is communicating in anything. La gente en la guerra. People in war communicate with uh, pro, um, uh, uh, bullets. Okay. Nosotros nos comunicamos con movimiento. We communicate with movements. Okay. Is that right? Entonces, la comunicación es importante en el sistema campo. So communication really matters and it's important in campo system. If you analyze that from a, a wider point of view, Kempo will summarize in that, in a communication system. Okay. And we uh, improve our communication through movement. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Ahora, parte de la formula de 10 pasos voy a compartirles tres pasos importantes. So I'm going to give you three of the steps, uh, three steps out of the 10 that I have created. La primero es tener la información correcta de Kempo. 
Okay, so the first one is to have the in, uh, information, the proper, the right information of Kempo. Okay, entonces siempre debes tener. You will always, you should always have. La fuente directa. Yeah, the, the proper source, which I have, which I do. Okay. All right. Sin la fuente correcta. If you don't have this proper source. Vas a desviarte mucho, mucho del camino. You are going to the tour. You're going to be so far away from the path. Okay. Entonces, lo importante es siempre reconocer la fuente. So, always uh, recognize the source, a proper source, uh, a confident source, a real source. Si yo no reconozco la fuente. If I don't have this real source. Estoy atentando contra el propio Kempo. You know, I am um, hurting my Kempo. En este caso. In this case, tenemos nuestra fuente. We have our, our source, que es el gran Master Tatum, from Master Tatum, which is Master Tatum. Entonces siempre le recomiendo tener sus libros. So I always, uh, I highly suggest you to have his books, sus videos, around videos also or any other material para estudiarlos. So you can study them. Ese es el principal punto, tener la fuente correcta. That's the first point. To el have the, punto, the proper source. The second one is saber to know. La información correcta. The, or to have or to know the proper information. To know the, the proper information. Entonces, para que no estés especulando o pensando cualquier cosa. So to avoid speculative uh, thinking. Pásate en los datos de fuente. You have to base on your source, the proper source. Okay. Is that Entonces, clear? Paso, saber. Okay. La fuente, saber la información correcta. To understand and to know the right information of your source. Y el tercer paso. And the third and last for today. Es saber que es correcto. Is to know that it is truly and, and, and it is exactly correct. That it is correct. Entonces, para que no digas que el campo no sirve. So, this no way no you, don't, you cannot say the camp doesn't work. Tienes que saber que sí funciona. You have to uh, know in your heart and in your mind that it really, it does work. Pero para saber que funciona tienes que trabajarlo y experimentarlo. Por but, mismo. but to make sure that it does work, you have to experiment and, and, and leave Kempo. Right? Is that clear, guys? Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention, guys. Master Roberto Almagro and... Roberto and Diego Ruiz. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Um, I think we're going to take a five minute break, are we, Laura? Yes. Uh, everybody, five minute break before Master Soto teaches. So it gives you a bathroom, a quick bathroom break. Uh, or whatever you have to do. All right.